Hi, my name is Rebecca Coleman. I have decided to do my YouTube book project on the Freedom Writer's Diary. It's about a teacher named Miss Erin Grewell and 150 students who used writing to change themselves and the world around them. Now, I think the most important aspect of this book is that Miss Erin Grewell did not give up on her students. She fought for them, no matter what. You know, when she gets these students, the at-risk fresh, freshman class, that's the class she teaches, when she gets them, you know, you think she's not going to last a week, not even a month, just because they're horrible, they, you know, they don't pay attention, they're out of control, you, you know, they just don't care, because these are students that are, that have been to juvie, and some of them even have tracking ambulance, so they've decided, you know, the world doesn't care about me, why should I care about anything else besides myself? So most of them, they think just because they make it to the next day, that's an accomplishment in themselves. You know, they're all in gangs, uh, and they risk being shot every time they walk out the door. Most of them have lost family members, close friends to violence and everything, and so the world doesn't care about them, why should they care about it? That's basically what they think. Then they get Miss Erin Grewell as their teacher. And she has decided that, you know, these kids have been mistreated their whole lives. They need somebody who will care for them and be respectful towards them and give them a chance at life. And that's what she decides to do. And there's this entry that she made in the book that I'd like to read part of. I'm gonna paraphrase a bit. It's from her fresh fresh it's from the freshman year spring 1995 so she's already already like through her halfway through her first year of teaching i just want to read a little bit and i'm going to paraphrase a bit um even though a lot of people have given up on them i refuse to believe they're a lost cause even though their reading scores don't indicate that they're smart it's amazing how savvy they are they're walking encyclopedia when it comes to pop culture quoting lines from their favorite movie or reciting every lyric from the latest rap CD. I think the key is to build on what they already know. I've been trying to pick stories they can relate to and then challenge them to bring the story to life. That, I mean, right there, that just shows she's an amazing teacher. She's gonna use what they already know and then build on that to teach them. And I think that's what a great teacher should do. You should use what your students already know if you find that a student's hard to teach. I mean, I was a hard student to teach at once. I was not the best in the world, but my the one teacher I had, my fifth grade teacher, she didn't give up on me. She fought for me and she made me to who I am today. I wouldn't be where I am or who I am if it wasn't for her. I just think that Miss Erin Grewell, you know, she really She's just a reflection of what every teacher should be. You should fight for your students. You should care for them. You should respect them. You should help them want to learn. You should you should make learning fun for them, you, especially if you know school comes out hard for them. You know if they have trouble grasping material first, find stuff they may can relate to, and then apply it to that. And I just think that you know. Erin Grewell is just an amazing teacher. In fact, she never gave up, no matter what. I mean, all the other teachers at the school, her principals, even her father was like, why can't you just be a normal teacher? Just get through the class, teach your material, and don't worry about them. You know, but she said, you know, that's just not right. You, you're a teacher, you should care about your students and where they're going in life. And she's right, a teacher should care. I hope when I become a teacher that my students will love me. I'm going, I mean, Aaron Gruhel is one of my heroes, one of the reasons I'm going into teaching. And I hope I can model my classroom after her. And I hope my teacher, I hope my students will, you know, love me as much as, you know, her students loved her and they'll respect me. And I hope I can just model my classroom after the Freedom Writers. And yeah. I really hope I end up with a class like the Freedom Writers and that 
I ended up being like a teacher like Miss Aaron Grewell and my fifth grade teacher because these two teachers have really inspired me to become, to become a teacher myself and I hope I end up just like them.